Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem forty-six in chapter four. In this one, we look at this system, and we know there is three object A, B, C, and the external force F act on it to make the whole systems um accelerate, and then we as a whole. So in this one, um, we need to determine the acceleration for this system. The net force and the force uh, between each other. So in first one, let's do the force analysis to draw the free body picture. So in this one, we can see first thing we look at object A. For object A, we can see there must be gravity, agree? And also the normal force, the table to the object A, and also the force acted by the person F and the force. B to the A. Why we decide there is a force B to the A? Because when there is a person pushes the object A, there must be the force A to the B to the force trans transport or transport. So we have the force B to A to the B. So from Newton's second third law, there must be the force B to the A in the opposite direction, right? With the same magnitude. And then we look at the object B. So for object B, there must be gravity and normal force, and also the force A to the B, agree A to the B to push it, and then also this B will push the MC, the object C. So there must be the force C to the B from Newton's third law. This force with the same magnitude but opposite direction, and then we look at the object C. We can see there must be gravity and normal force, and also because object push it. Object B push it, so force B uh, B to the C. So this is how we draw this uh, force pictures. The next one we need to determine the acceleration for this system. That means the acceleration is the same for the A, B, C. Do you agree? Yes, because this three object never separate. They just uh, speed up with the same acceleration. To Reach the same velocity at every point of the time, right? So in this one, we can write Newton's second law for A, B, C. First thing, we look at object C at the horizontal. So the net force is F C B equal to the mass times acceleration, and then the net force for the B on the horizontal is F B A minus F B C equals mass B times acceleration. And then we look at object A. There is a net force is F minus F A B equals mass A times acceleration. So from this Newton's second law, we write these three equations. The first problems: Can you find the acceleration for these systems? We have three equations. Can you find it? Sure, because we can add these three equations together. We look at the left side of the equations. So you can see this one cancels with this one. This one cancels with this one. Add them together. So only term left is F. And then add these three terms together, we get this one, right? So the force act by the person equals the mass together, the total mass times acceleration. In this way, we can find its acceleration for the whole systems. And the third problem asks you the net force on each object. So this is still easy because we know the acceleration, and we know the ma mass for each object. It's easy for us to find the net force. It's just the mass times the acceleration, right? So we consider the mass for each object and times the same acceleration. It's their net force. So this is how we do that. The next one I want to ask you find the force of contact force of each object. The contact force is F C B F B A. These things. So you just uh, you can see you can do this calculation very easy. First thing, how can we find the force F C B? Use mass C times acceleration. So we input this acceleration inside. We get this F C B. And also the force F B A. Just the F B C plus mass times acceleration. Mass B times acceleration. And then we input it. We find it. It looks like this way, right? So easy. The next problems tell you the quantities for the mass are same, and the external for 
the external force F, the quantities is 96 newton. As Q to find the uh, number, num the number answer of the B, C, D. So in this one, we can see this is how we do the B and C. And this is our final answer. The next one asks you to find the answers for acceleration, net force, the contact force. We just input the number inside. And then we find, yeah, it's easy. The net force um, between each other is them. Um, and then the contact force for A, B is uh, larger than the contact force be between B, C, right? So you can see the in this one, this external force, 90, 90, 96, uh, 96 newton is larger than the force A to B, than the force B to C. So this is very um, straightforward because the F is the net force to push entire system, and FAB just push the, just FAB just uh, um, push B and C and F C B just push C. So in this one, so not is not make sense because this force the F is larger than force A B larger than force B C. So make them get the same acceleration. Thank you.